we're going to be replacing the crankshaft seal. This is on a 1995 Toyota Camry. This is the crankshaft sprocket. It's easy to take off. You just pull it off like that. And there's the seal. We're going to use a sheet metal screw right here. This is three quarters long, and that's a quarter inch hex on that, hex head. Notice the threads go to the end. You don't want to use a self-tapping screw like that because it doesn't have threads at the end. The threads are what allow us to grab onto that seal and pull it out. This is the back of the seal we're putting in. And if you all see that metal ring right there, that's what we're going to screw into. Y'all, we're going to use a punch on that seal right there to be able to put a little divot in it so we can start drilling. We're using a, an eighth inch drill bit to drill a hole in that seal. We are through now that metal band on the other side of that seal. We put a piece of tape around this drill bit, this eighth inch drill bit so that we would know not to go further than about a quarter of an inch. Now we're going to screw the screw in there. We're going in about four threads. Right, y'all, now we're going to use a nail puller. That's all that is. See? Just a nail puller. Cat's paw nail puller to pull that seal. Grab hold of the head of that screw or one of the threads and pull it. There she comes. All right, y'all, that's the seal out. That's the back of it, facing away from you when it's in the car. You can see how the screw is coming through, not very far. You want to make sure when you pull it out, you see this metal, this thin metal band right there, right there, that I'm pointing to. It's up toward the outside of the back of the seal. That's a spring. You want to make sure that spring that metal, thin metal band is in that seal when you remove it. If it's not, you got to go fishing for it in the car there. So what you're shooting for when you put that screw in, not directly in the middle, more toward the outside of the seal. Because what you want to do is get it right centered in the middle of that metal band at the bottom so you can get some grab to pull that seal out. You see how far we screwed in that screw? I'm gonna rotate this slowly so you can see it. Back and forth. There's our screw. You see how that the tip of that screw is now revealing itself? Right there. You don't want to screw that screw in too much because you'll hit the back right there, of that housing area for that seal. We screwed ours in about an eighth of an inch. Just be cautious about how far you screw that in. All right, y'all, we're just taking a Q-tip with a little bit of denatured alcohol at the end of it to clean around the race of that seal. That surface needs to be cleaned prior to putting in your new seal. All right, y'all, that's the new seal right there. Toyota pre-lubes it for you. You see that pink grease? Here's what that is. It's Toyota grease. Right there. That's good stuff to have if you have a Toyota car. It's their pink, they call it their pink grease. Here's the part number. 08887-01206. The part number of that <clears throat> 
seal right there is 90080-31022. Toyota part number. A Toyota mechanic at Toyota told us not to put any grease or lubricant on the outside of the seal, only on the inside, and that comes pre-lubed. So we're not gonna add any more. We put the crankshaft seal in by hand and then use the sprocket, the crankshaft sprocket, to push it on manually and went as far as we could go. And we did that so we'd keep the seal square. Now we're going to use this two inch piece of ABS pipe with a piece of wood and a sledgehammer to pound it in. Alright y'all, we got her as far in as we could with the other configuration we had and now we're going to use a square piece of wood and tap her. So it's just a hammer and a long square piece of wood that'll fit in there. A little bit at a time, patience goes a long way. Notice that the wood is placed over the seal and the outer edge of the housing. You can and tell by this thud, she's done there. That piece of wood is cut square, and that piece of wood is overlapping both the seal itself and the housing. Then you know you can't push, you're not pushing the seal in more than it should be. It stops you from doing that. Okay. Now. That's nicely seated. So now sister's going to put on the crank shaft sprocket and we'll see if it's fully seated. And that shoulder right here, this flat shoulder, will make that little pinging like it's come in contact with metal. If it's seated. Hear that? It's fully seated. All right, y'all. That's how we remove and replace a crank shaft seal in a 1995 Toyota Camry. We hope it helps and happy DIYing.